Hey there, Ultimate Yoshi here, and welcome back to Tanks. Welcome back to Spyro Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I really do miss the little animation of all the tre treasure going into the big chest and just flying out of Spyro. But that might have been too much on this game. It might have been too much for the game to handle. So what is this going to be? I am infinitely curious. Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. You are suddenly not I Japanese, Sam. For you if you can destroy all the dummy tanks, but you'll have to figure out how to get past the gates. Okay. Will you clear out the tank training arena? This is like the only guy I've ever met in the Spyro game whose text was. Whose dialogue was the swor the spoken words were faster than the words we actually read. Uh, no problem. I don't need to learn how to control the tank. I have twenty one tanks. Okay. We. I am Spyro driving a tank. I am driving a tank. I am. Dr I would like to repeat that. I'm driving a tank. That is something that is going on right now. What is even the point of that little crevice? I don't know. Is that energy up the top? I'm going to assume it is. These are just health guys, I guess. Something just exploded. One out of 21. How big is this area going to be? Huh. There's targets. Uh, 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 uh. Guess I need to get a little bit closer. I know there's another check over here because I saw it. Ow! Oh, these targets probably opened the door. Come on. I can't aim any lower. Fine. Squished him though. Uh, this is really weird. There's a tank over there, isn't it? Can I shoot him? Why do only some of my bullets actually get affected by gravity? Why is my thing always pointing up? Why is it always pointing up now? That's not what it should be doing. I need to get up really close to these guys in order to kill them. Why is it pointing up? Stop pointing up! I can't... Why is it pointing up? I'm not even pressing any buttons. It's just pointing oh, no. up. Okay, I'll get him this time. Doesn't even give me the option to learn the controls now, so I guess this is all my fault. Stop pointing up. I want it to just be pointing straight because that actually makes it, you know, I can actually hit the guys. Also, this is surprisingly really tough for the first area, probably unintentionally because it's really hard to control. Maybe I am just supposed to target them. That just feels slow, though. Is this supposed to be like an action-packed thing? It's like, right... Mario Party does the tank things better than this. There it goes, going up again. Let's see? Oh, hi. Alright. Oh, the music is really weird. That's part par for the course. Oh, speaking of the music, it's worth noting, in the Speedway episode, I was talking about how the music didn't sound like uh, Stuart Copeland very much. Turns out it's made by Stuart Copeland, so... I don't know. I guess it's just another Spyro 2 situation. Because I didn't really like the music in that game that much either. Hmm. Guess I want to go over this way. 
Oh. Why does it kind of look like it's coming from me? It's, it just kind of has... There's nothing hiding behind that wall. We. I think something comes from me when a tank shoots. Something has to come from me because I keep seeing something come from me. And I don't understand what it is, but I definitely see something coming from me. Also, why are there 21 of these guys? Not only is that just really long, but that's also such an arbitrary number. Why are there just 21 of them? I don't know. Either way, this is... It doesn't feel like I'm playing a Spyro game right now. It really doesn't. This... If the cockpit was covered up, I would not be like, oh yeah, this is a Spyro game. I would be like, what am I playing? I guess this isn't terrible, but still, it's just so weird. Anything behind these walls? I don't know. Still missing five guys, so. I'm missing five guys. I don't know. I like their burgers. Um, more walls over there, but I don't know if they have any. Yeah, why like why are some of my bullets affected by gravity, but not others? Also, the fact that my tank is constantly smoking just makes me feel like I'm low on energy when I'm not. Do tanks actually have smoke thingies like that? I don't know. Probably gonna be- yep, a guy. Um... That's all I'm hearing from the music. Probably gonna be- Is, the, is that just all the music is? <laughs> or is there something else? No, that's all I'm hearing. Also, I like how I can just take these guys out from a distance and I don't they don't even know I'm here. They're not even moving, they're just standing still. Ow! Maybe I shouldn't have taken out the wall. Maybe I should have let the other guy take me out. Whatever, it's done. Well, I guess there weren't any gems in that. You're a clever dragon, ain't you? Smart enough to get the gates open and skillful enough to survive the tanks. As a reward, I'll let you have the dojo mascot. So, this is like an Isle Delfino situation. Hey, it's Cub. All the dragonflies were supposed to be missing and having been teleported away to if parts like, unknown. I can set up some more dummies for you. Would you like to do some target practice? Is this going to be anything different? But anyway, it's like, the dragonflies are supposed to be gone and missing. But, also, it's not anything different, so I'm going to give up. You gave up? What kind of soldier are you? Get your purple tail back on that horse and try again. Well, that's too bad. But I'll have this tank ready for you when you change your mind. I don't know what that guy's deal is. But, like, there's a- it's an Isle Delfina situation because, like, we're supposed to be finding these dragonflies, they're all supposed to be, like, you know, protected and stuff. But then there are just dragons around there who just have dragonflies and they give them to you because you did something for them. It's kind of, and the reason why it's an Isle Delfina situation is because in Mario Sunshine, the Shine Sports is supposed to be missing and stuff, but then there are guy- Guys who just have them, like the hotel owner, hotel Delfino owner, or the guys who make you smash the boxes. Or the no- or the Tanuki in the Rico Harbor 
Marina thing, who gives you shine sprites for blue coins. And it's just like, they're hoarding them, so it's like, what's the deal with that? Anyways, I have gems to find, so you know what that means? That means cutaway time! That was a great draw distance right there, let me tell you! <laughs> I pressed the A button, Spyro. I, I pressed the A button, you know. Oh yeah, head smashing is still a thing. The animation's really weird, though. You know, I like how this little baby dragon is just standing around a bunch of ninja guys, and they're, the ninja guys aren't even doing anything, and the little baby dragon isn't even doing anything. They're just there. Coexisting. Here we go, here's a gem. Dangerously, almost out of nowhere. I mean, not out of nowhere, but like, on a cliff. It's actually kind of well hidden because it's purple in purple water. Right at the very beginning. But I'm still missing quite a few gems. Also, wow, look at, look at that cutoff! Look at the water cutoff right there! It's just jagged and rhombusy. Oh, what's this over here? There's a hidden area with gems in it. I didn't even know this place was here, but it's here. Huh. Sneaky. Huh? What's this? That... What? Why trumpets? Whatever, what is this? What is this? What is this gonna do? What is this gonna do? I don't even know! I have absolute... I have zero idea of what this could possibly be. I mean, 100% of the area. But I have no idea what this is going to lead me to. I'm on the rock again, though. That's how I got here in the first place. So maybe this is just gonna bring me back? Was that the end of the level? Why was that at the beginning of the level? I am... What is this... What? I I'm back. Uh... That was the end- that was the end of the level. Why was that at- Why was that at the beginning of the level?! I was at the beginning of the level when I found the path that takes me to the end of the level! What?! 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 Okay! Let's go get some electricity power! Because why not? Pyro, the magic of this sacred rune will grant you the power of electric breath. Let's zippity zap some stuff, because why not? Zap! 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 Whoa. That's... A little bit more graphic than I'm used. They literally just I zapped the sheep and it turned to me. Spire was e equally confused. All right, where's the spike sparky thing? That's this way, or is this a different thing? One of these paths leads to a sparky thing. Is this the sparky one? All right, it was a sparky thing. Also, the worlds in this game are just really weird. Because I, I guess it really is just like, there's only nine worlds or some. I don't know, there's... I'm, I don't really want to open the atlas right now and count, but there's only a certain farm. Oh no, it's the farm. Why are you giving me a tutorial of something that I already know? 
I'm getting a better view. There's vines on the wall. What's the purpose of even telling me that now? Anyways, the reason why... Wait. Why did lightning just flash across the screen? I don't... Whatever. The reason why I said, oh no, the farm... Is because... I may have said this in a previous game. Let's play or something. I may have even said it in this let's play so far. But I actually have played this game before. But I only remember ever one thing about this game. Aside from the fact that, well, you get dragonflies. I remember that much because it's kind of the title of the game. Sort of. Oh, speaking of dragonflies. Blar! I blarped you. Hey, it's Amy. I would have said Amy, uh, because that's what the font made it look like, but whatever. Sploosh. But anyways, the reason why I said Ono is a farm, because, like, I do actually remember one thing about this game. The reason why I stopped playing the game. There was one level that has to do with cows and aliens or something, and it was on a farm, and I don't really remember it that well, but I remember it was dumb and stupid, and if that's what's coming next, I'm infinitely more worried than I was before. Either way, I'm just kind of collecting stuff underground. Why is... Why does this look like this? It's like they just took one texture and put it on a wall and stretched it around a little bit to make it look weird. I like the little coral reefs, though. They don't look half bad. Hmm. Do I have anything under here? I don't know. Probably, though. Alright. Dolphin jump out of here. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, oh, um. I can tell you to look around again. Okay, you're teaching me how to swim. Apparently, Sparks has short term memory loss and doesn't realize I was just swimming five seconds ago. And that's such a weird place. It's just randomly, randomly stepping in one section of this place. Grants you, grants you a swimming tutorial. Where even am I? W didn't I come down this path to get here? I don't know. What's in this island? More gems. Good thing they're in my collectible. Hmm. I wonder what's on this boardwalk. Probably gonna be another level. There's a pirate ship over here or something. What was that? There's a mole up there. Or something. Who are you? Boy, am I glad to see you. Oh no, you're a pig. You might be able to get this boat to work if you had enough dragonflies. Wait. But there's savages on that island. Savages, I tell you. Uh fifteen dragonflies needed. Alrighty then. How many do I have? 14. Okay, fine. Be that way. Alright, uh, I guess we'll go this way then. Jiminy Jam Dom Gems. Oh, hey! It's a dragonfly! Blarp! Hey, it's Kanichi! Kanichi! That's not a weird name at all. I apologize if anyone watching is named Kanichi. I also apologize for your name. Because... I don't know what kind of name that is, but it's not a common name around here. Around the United States, from what I would know. I don't know. You know, I'm just gonna stop talking because I probably offended a lot of people who I don't know, and that's... D Did I just see that right? Did I just see that right? Did I just see that animation? Or rather, the lack thereof of animation there? 
What are you? Hello, Spyro. You need to collect more of those them air bugs, and I should have this honeycomb raft working like a charm. You know, something else is weird, aside from the fact that I just stood in the same place, but had to move the camera to get myself to talk to that guy. No, what else is weird is the fact that in previous Spyro games, okay, yeah, it's like either... What? Are you gonna tell me about the gates that give me <gasps> super fire or whatever? I, you already talked to me about these challenge portals! Oh. Oh, you have. It's because it's lightning breath. I know how you activate! My god! I thought tutorials were bad enough in sequel games that are exactly like the original. Because, like, most of the people playing probably played the first one. I mean, I understand why you would have them just in case it isn't the first game, but still kind of is annoying for people who have played the original games. But that, even anyone who, is, who has never played a Spyro game, they already got the first tutorial. They don't need another one. There's another guy up here. You know, I'm just, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, as I was saying, Spyro 1, in order to get to new areas, it was like the balloonist, you know? And so you had to collect enough treasure or dragons or eggs just kind of like to appease them. They were like, oh, I'm not going to do this until, you know, you, the stuff is working. Okay, that was that's just because they didn't want to let you do it unless you had all that stuff. And that was them. Spyro 2 had the orbs that were, like, magically powering up all the little areas that you could go to. Spyro 3... I don't remember... What did Spyro 3 have? I don't even remember. Holy crap. It's my favorite of the ga Spyro games I played, and I don't even remember. Wow, that, that, that's bad. Actually... No, I, I don't even remember. God! Well, either way, here it's just... Oh, hey, I need a bunch of dragonflies! What? Why do you need dragonflies to power a rock or a honeycomb raft or a boat? Why do you... Are they, why are they dragonfly powered? Wh what do dragonflies do? Sparks? Sparks in the... Sparks got magical powers for getting dragon babies in the last game. But... That's just sparks. What are regular, regular old dragonflies? How do they power boats and rocks? I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna do this. Uh, what am I doing? I'm zapping this. Okay. God damn it. Okay. This might take a little bit of time because I don't know where all the things are. For the most part, they seem to be over here. I hope none of them are underwater. No, none of them look like they're underwater. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, maybe I should come here last because I think I'm missing a... The other three over here. Yeah. Yeah, here's the others. Alright, let's try that again then. There we go. I did it. Blah 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 blah. Hey, it's Alex. All right. Well, that's done. Said and over with. So, you know what? Next time on Let's Play Spyro: Enter the Dragonfly, we are gonna farm, and we're gonna farm it well. And we're going to go up there and farm. See you guys then.